Okay, so I'm choosing a problem from chapter uh, 13, orthogonality and normalization homework. Okay, this is the extra problem. And uh, the problem is just listed in your homework um, handout as normalize the function f of x uh, is x to the fourth over the interval such and such. I think you'll find that this wording is exactly that of the book, so this is the kind of wording that you should expect uh, on the exam. I mentioned this because yesterday when we were doing a work problem session, uh, many students were saying that the biggest problem is simply knowing what to do. So you're going to have to get used to this wording. My, my advice to you is to take this problem, follow along with me, and then make up a problem using exactly the same wording or very similar wording um, for your study partner. And, uh, and you also might want to go to the back of the book and find similar problems and see what wording they use, okay? Because the wording is something you're going to have to be okay with. All right, so normalize the function f of x. So we know that when we're normalizing a function, we're going to set it up like this. Here's our normalization factor, a to b function, function dx, right? This is the function of x, and it's the complex conjugate. It turns out this function... Uh, it doesn't ha it's complex conjugate. It doesn't have a complex number. It's not a complex number, so no i's in it, so we don't need to change anything. So we're simply going to do that one twice. Oh, I'm sorry, is equal to 1. We solve for n, and we're done. All right, so that's a definition which I'm not going to give you again right N now. I'm only going to say that's my starting point. I write that out on my paper, and then I start solving it. So in this case, f of x is x to the fourth. So this in, in the interval is 0 to 1. So n2 is what I'm going to be solving for, or n squared, I should say. And it's f squared, so it's going to be x to the fourth squared dx is equal to 1. All right, so, you know, I don't even know where to start, right? So I'm just going to start doing things I know to do. Uh, this is going to be x to the eighth dx. All right, yeah, I can, I can solve this integral. We know that if, that was, if that's eighth, it's antiderivative, it's going to be to the ninth. And that's 1, so this must be x to the ninth over 9, right? Over the interval 1 to 0 times the uh, normalization factor is equal to 1. All right, and so this is, um, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. One more out, okay? So it's 1 to the ninth over 9 minus 0 to the ninth over 9 is equal to 1. n squared is equal to 1 ninth is equal to 1. n squared is equal to 9. n is equal to plus or minus 3, right? It's 3. Uh, we're looking for a normalization factor. When I say n squared plus or minus 3, I'm sorry, that was an old habit of uh, just finding a square root of a number. But it turns out we're really looking for a normalization factor, right? So if you put 3 here, that'll make all of that true. If you put a 3 right there, 3 squared, it's going to make this interval equal to 1. The area under that curve uh, equal to 1. That's amazing, isn't it? So that's the normalization factor. And so the normalized function is going to be 3 x to the fourth um, is equal to f of x, right? Or f, I should say star of x or whatever. All right. Thank you. Hope that's helpful.